Blue Delicious. It's good stuff. In the seventh century, there was a shepherd named Galdi. Well, Galdi saw that one of his sheep was straying around eating this red bean, became really hyper and running around. So what did he do? Well, he grabbed the red bean, he put it in his mouth and ate it. He said that it made him light on his feet and full of energy. So he told all the townspeople and it became a hit. Well, that red bean turned out to be coffee from Ethiopia. A lot of the foods that we casually consume were discovered this way. Today here on Food Delicious, we're gonna introduce you to some of those foods and how they were discovered. Especially one of them, it's tender meat. But it's not just the meat, it's the bone. Yes, the bone is the main part and the name Taket of Food Delicious today. Thank you, Gaudi. People who know how to savor food. What is the food that these people are talking about? You would know without tasting it. If you don't mind getting your hands dirty, jump right in. The ultimate taste of meat can be experienced today in Korea. The secret recipe to creating this taste is hidden inside the kitchen. But only the bones remain on the table. Does that mean the meat dish is already prepared? Wait, a dish made with just bones? I can't believe what I'm hearing. It's Korea's Kamjatang. Look forward to this cuisine. It's not just Korea that uses bones to cook. There is a Western food that is cooked in a similar way. Ah, yeah, 여기 있습니다, 비율인가. 아, 저기 나오네요. Yes, this is the dish we'll introduce today. It's none other than... Can't wait to taste it. There are so many parts to the meat, so why use the bones? The chewy and juicy meat definitely brings enjoyment to any dining table. That's why meat dish is a must during mealtimes in various cultures. They say the true taste and nutrients of meat are hidden inside the bones. They're known to contain an abundant amount of calcium as well as protein. But even if it's good for the body, how do you eat these hard bones? This is why people have boiled the bones, to create a rich broth that is tasty and nutritious. Sauces and casseroles made using the meat broth create a richer and more delicious flavor. But when making Korean dishes, bones are used in various ways. Korea's hollongtang and kalbitang are made by boiling bones for many hours. Because the rich broth is made this way, no other seasonings are required. The white broth with the rice meat flavor is second to none other when it comes to nutrition and flavor. But the cuisine that we will be tasting today isn't cow bones. We'll unveil instead the grand transformation of pork. Pork back ribs will be used to make today's cuisine. How nutritious is this dish? When making Korea's kamjatang, you first need to boil the pork back ribs to eliminate the blood in the meat as well as any odors. But if today's main ingredient is pork back rib, shouldn't the dish be named after it? Why is the dish called kamjatang? Let's find out as we dig into this dish. Add the pork back ribs and the broth. The ingredient added last is... Potato! This is the reason why. The word kamja in kamjatang means potato. It's an essential ingredient for this dish. The potatoes play a crucial role in determining the flavor of the soup. 감자를 넣으면 음식이 푸짐하기도 하고 돼지고기와 더불어 다양한 영양소를 섭취할 수 있고 감자가 돼지고기의 누린 맛을 제거하기도 합니다. The broth, pork back ribs, green onions, sesame leaves, and mushrooms fill up the entire pot to create kamjatang. All of these ingredients are boiled together to harmonize the different tastes. The boiling sound of the soup is enough to make anyone's mouth water. 
I hear Western-style barbecue ribs also go through a pre-cooking stage. 1차 조리 오븐에서 2 시간 전에 조리하는 건요. 돼지고기의 어, 비린내를 제거하고 또 기름기를 제거하고 또 더욱 육질을 부드럽게 하기 위해서 1차 조리를 하고요. 2차 조리 시에는 소스를 입히는 그 과정입니다. The actual taste of the ribs comes from the sauce that we lathered on the pre-cooked pork back ribs. You can choose the sauce that best suits your tastes from a variety of selections. 오리지널 소스는 일반적으로 시중에서 드시는 BBQ 소스고요. 스위스 소스는 아이들이 먹기 편하게 단맛을 좀 내서 스위스 소스로 됐고요. 핫 소스는 또 요즘 매콤한 맛을 원하시는 분들의 기호에 맞춰서 예, 핫 소스를 개발하고 또 마늘의 향을 더욱 더 돋보이게 하기 위해서 갈릭 이렇게 네 가지의 맛의 소스가 있습니다. Barbecue ribs are usually grilled on fire, but you can also cook them in an oven. The oil from the meat will be completely drained and the sauces will seep in to create a deep taste. It's a bit different from Korea's gamjatang. Korea's gamjatang is the meat that is filled with the sweet and sweet meat. The meat of the barbecue ribs is the meat that is filled with the sweet and sweet meat of the barbecue ribs. Do you hear the boiling sound of the soup? Stimulate your taste buds with a rich taste in the broth. Carrying a spicy yet clean taste, it's Korea's Gamjatang. When ripping off the meat from the bones, people tend to forget about how much they've eaten and simply dig in. But the ultimate taste of this dish comes from the spicy and refreshing broth that is full of nutrition. The sweet scent that lures people in. The ribs that entice all meat lovers are complete. The deep flavor hidden inside the bones has seeped into the meat to create a unique sweet flavor in the barbecue ribs. There are various ways to enjoy this dish as you can use a fork, but... If you want to taste the ultimate flavor of the meat, grab it with your hands and tear the meat apart. Flavors that you don't find every day. Korea's Gamjatang and Western style barbecue ribs. These dishes create a perfect flavor with both meat and bones. Don't call yourself a meat lover if you haven't tried these two dishes yet. It can't get any more exotic than this. Taste and Style Rank will unveil the three top Korean foods that have surprised foreigners. Mm. Oh, it's amazing, it's so cool. It's cool how your, your taste buds, your mouth, your entire body is just stimulated by this cold ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. Well, today here on Food Delicious, we're going to take a look at the different textures, the different colors, the different styles of foods that everybody loves so much, especially the foreigners. They jump up and down for it. Let's see what they are. I'm going to keep eating this. Ooh. Korea's cuisine, restaurants, and dining culture. We will rank everything related to the taste of Korea, style, and taste rank. Oh my god! I'm scared. <laughs> I was really surprised. We asked eight English teachers from SLP Sudaemun branch. Oh my goodness! Nothing could be more surprising than this! Koreans are incredible! I was surprised when I first saw it, but then a Korean friend told me that it's part of Korean food, so I just accepted it. Very, very long. It's like an empty sausage. Once you cook it over the fire, it becomes delicious. If you judge this food by its looks, you will be fooled. The more you cook it, the tastier it gets. It's gopchang! Since the farming days of the Neolithic age, Koreans have enjoyed eating gopchang. You know what it is? It's cow's intestines. The more you cook it, the chewier it gets. The filling of the gopchang called gop spills out to create a nutty flavor. This is known to protect our stomach and intestines as it is highly nutritious. There's a liquid that comes out, but that's what makes it taste the best. 
Once it is cooked, cut up the long gopchang into bite-sized pieces. So chewy. Koreans love this texture. It can look a bit strange, but... 기타연하게 말아놓은 거 보면 뱀같이 징그러운데 이렇게 잘라서 먹을 때는 징그럽다는 생각 안 드는데요? 쫄깃쫄깃한 고 담백하고 고소고 먹고 나서 몇 시간 뒤면은 또 먹고 싶고. It goes with soy sauce, salt, and kimchi, and with one of them, it tastes a lot better. If I didn't know what it was, then maybe it would taste better, but I can't be sure. Oh, my stuff. Nice to know. Once you see it, you know what it is. It's pig legs. Don't judge the dish by its looks. The color and the texture are looking good. It's the upgraded version of the pig's foot, the highly nutritious chokpa. When having a drink or midnight snack, Koreans always seem to crave chokpa. This part of the meat has a lot of tendon and cartilage, which are good for one's complexion and for slowing down the aging process. In America, we have nothing like pig legs. When you see it and smell it, you think that it's not food. Uh, also, but it's part of the culture. Put chokpal in boiling water with a bit of sugar and soy sauce. Add onions to the ginger and boil it to make chokpal. When you see it, it's shiny and pretty on the outside. It looks so delicious. The bone looked huge. The huge bone that appears once you tear off a chunk of meat is the best part. You should definitely take your time to eat the meat stuck to the bone. The texture was a little rubbery and um, a bit fatty, but I, I didn't mind it so much, and I liked it more than the gopchang. This is it. The sauce that seasons the meat and also helps with digestion, it's salted shrimp. The sauce is amazing. It has so many shrimp in it. In Korea, there are so many, so many foods that I'm very surprised. Oh, my stuff. Oh, my it's alive. It's very slimy and slippery. Is it food that we can eat? Everyone's beloved treat, sausages. We'll introduce a special sausage kimchi dish in just a bit on Crunchy Kimchi. Korean foods that have surprised foreigners, Koktang and Jokpa, but there's one more. What ranks number one? I felt scared. <laughs> it scares people. The old boy when he when he ate the octopus and scared. Middle-aged men love it. Tanachi. Sangnachi. It's surprising in looks, and even when it comes to how you should eat it, it moves as you should chew. Our number one dish is sanakchi. I've never seen this food before I came to Korea, because we don't have it in Canada. Just like squid and octopus, the small octopus called nakchi can only be found in Asia. Can you imagine eating it after wrapping it around on a chopstick, eating it alive? Because the nerves are separated, it doesn't die easily when cut up. An easy way to eat these creatures, curl them up or simply cut them into pieces. If it was cut up, then I, I could maybe try it. But even though it's still moving, it's pretty disgusting. When you eat this food, you should only eat it with sesame oil. As the freshness of the nakchi must be savored, only sesame oil and salt are used for the sauce. When it's inside your mouth, the ends of the tentacles stick to your mouth when you're trying to swallow it. So you have to move your chopstick. It has no unique taste, but you want to have it every once in a while. The more you cook it, the juicier it gets. The nutritious gopchang. Tear off the meat to savor its true taste, the all-time favorite chokpa. Be captivated as you eat the food that moves on the plate and even in your mouth, sanakji. And there you have the top three Korean foods. Welcome again to the Crunchy Kimchi Studio. Today you don't have to think about what we're going to do, but you can just follow along. You're going to get a deep briefing, not from me here at the Crunchy Kimchi Studio, but from our very own teacher and our chef, Na Sanzangin. Ricky, please look at it. 자, 지금부터는 오늘 크런치 김치에서 처음 선보일 김치를 한번 소개해 볼까 하는데요. 오늘의 주인공 바로 파 
파입니다. 리키 따라해 보세요. 파. 파. 음, 그 발음 좋아요. 자, 파는 이렇게 두 가지로 나눠 볼 수가 있는데요. 바로 대파와 그리고 쪽파 두 가지로 구분을 할 수가 있습니다. 이 대파 같은 경우에는 요리에 주로 많이 사용을 하는데요. 리키 한국에서 혹시 이 대파 본적 있어? 요 이거 대파? 당연하지요. 음. 내가 남년 그럴 때 오늘 크킹 남년. I cut up the big pot and I t h r o w it. 역시 좋은 활용도, 아주 좋은 활용도입니다. 그 대파는 그렇게 요리에 많이 활용이 되고요. 쪽파 같은 경우에는 김치에 많이 활용이 되는데 오늘 이 바로 쪽파가 주인공입니다. 크런치 김치의 주인공이기도 한 파김치의 메인 주제로 수 있죠. That's right. Today we are going to do this. My turn now. Today the main character is the skinny long chokpa, which is the onion. It's the skinny one, and it's going to be our main character for today for you here on Country Kimchi. Marmalade? We need red onion, minced garlic, wine, vinegar, honey, raisins, and thyme. The tender meat of the sausage and the spicy p a g i n c h i will come together. We'll now guide you to the scene. 자, 이렇게 지금부터 요리 시작해 볼까요? All right. 네, p a g i n c h i 는 자, 이렇게 하얀 흰대 부분은 mm -hmm. 한쪽에다 이렇게 놔주시고요. 오늘 만들 요리는 바로 독일. 의 요리인데요. 독일이라는 나라의 요리는 주변 국가인 뭐 프랑스나 이탈리아처럼 화려하진 않지만 굉장히 소박하고 담백해서 오늘의 크런치 김치의 주인공인 이 파김치와 굉장히 잘 어울릴 그런 요리인 것 같아요. 근데 아까 저기 파 김치 음. 파좀 똑바로 쓰고 있었는데 여기 네. 파 김치 좀 아, 이렇게 말이에요. 흐물흐물 이렇게 네. 했다고요. 음, 그 이유가 있죠. 바로 숙성에 굉장히 잘된 이유인데요. 음. 그래서 한국에서의 속담 중에는 뭐 굉장히 일을 많이 하고 막 지쳐서 힘들고 막 이렇게 늘어질 때를 아이고 확인치 됐네 라는 표현을 쓰기도 해요. 네. Oh, I see, I see. 좋아, 좋아. So 네. today we're going to be like pa kimchi until we make it today. So let's give it a try. 네, 다음 거뭐 있어요? 자, 다음에는 이렇게 남아있는 이렇게 파란 부분에 담아, mm -hmm. 붙어있는 이 양념을 깨끗하게 okay. 이렇게 조금 훑어서요. 자, 거기 있는 리키 okay. 유리볼 좀 주실래요? 제가 여기 유리볼에다가 참기름하고 참기름. 설탕 그리고 깨소금을 넣어서 양념장을 미리 만들어 뒀거든요. 그래서 이렇게 깨끗하게 훑은 파김치를 여기에다가 넣고 자, 이만큼만 먼저 해볼게요. Right. 잡아주세요. 이렇게 양념장에 버무려주는데요. 이 파김치 같은 경우에는 약간 좀 짭짤해서 이렇게 양념을 해주시면 더욱 맛있게 드실 참, 수가 있습니다. 참, 참. 자, 지금부터는 파김치의 친구라고 할수 있는 바로 이 소시지가 등장을 했는데요. 이 소시지에 바로 옆에 있는 자, 이 베이컨을 돌돌 말아서 한번 만들어 볼 텐데요. 이 소시지 하면 떠오르는 나라는 바로 독일이죠. 독일 하면 떠오르는 거또 다른 게 뭐가 있을까요? Beer, Germany. 와, 맞아요. 정확했어요. <웃음> 자, 그래서 저도 오늘 맥주에 잘 어울리는 만한 그런 요리를 오늘 요리로 한번 선정을 한번 해봤는데요. 자, 여기에다가 파김치, 아까 양념해 놓은 파김치를 돌돌 말 건데요. 이 파김치의 알싸한 맛과 그리고 소시지가 굉장히 잘 어울리는 그런 맛일 거예요. 김치 저기 볶음 하는 거하고 소시지 넣는 거 진짜 맛있어. 오, 역시. 리키, 이제 하산해도 될것 같아. 김치 전문가가 다 됐어요, 이제는. 맞아요. 자, 이렇게 해서 파김치를 돌돌 마시는데요. 이 상태로만 그냥 놔두시게 되면 파김치가 확 풀려버릴 수도 있으니까. 자, 여기 있는 이쑤시개로 고정하는 거 잊지 마세요. 자, 이렇게 해서. 정성스럽게 음, 이렇게 쫙 해주세요. Following the sausage, we need the pumpkin. Slice the pumpkin in half after washing it thoroughly and remove the seeds and slice it in U-shape. Just like the sausage, roll up the pumpkin with bacon. Mm, this pot kimchi has a completely different taste than all the kimchi I've had before because it has that distinct kind of onion taste to it. It's so pretty good. 자, 지금부터는 뭐 아까 그 베이컨까지 말아놓은 단호박 위에다가 양념해 놓은 파김치를 이렇게 돌돌 말아주시고 자, 꼬치로 
떨어지지 않도록 잘 고정을 해서 이렇게 해두시면 됩니다. 그 파김치 음. 너무 길어서 만들 때좀 불편한 것 같은데 아. 먹을 때도 좀 불편하지 않아? 그렇죠. 파김치를 그래서 담글 때에는 잘 양념을 버무린 다음에 이렇게 여러 가지 몇 단을 이렇게 묶어서 이렇게 마무리를 해주셔야 나중에 꺼낼 때도 좋고 먹기에도 굉장히 편리하거든요. That's right. This pak kimchi, when you saw earlier, it's kind of hard to make. It's not the easiest because it's so long. And a lot of Koreans, they characterize themselves by some kind of a kimchi. So I guess I would be a pak kimchi because I'm a little complicated, not so simple. 네. 자, 그 다음에는 이렇게 소세지에 파 김치를 담근 이것을 자, 오븐 용기에다가 넣어주시고요. 자, 그 다음에 단호박도 같이 다 올려주신 다음에 이거를 그냥 오븐에 넣기보다는 약간의 올리브오일과 그 다음에 이렇게 후추를 좀 갈아줄래요? Yeah, sure. 이제 our sausage and our 네. bacon hoba. 자, 이렇게 가지고 오븐에다가 200도 예열된 오븐에 13분간 해주시면 되는데 이렇게 좀 yes. 오븐에 넣어주실래요? Oh, 200도에 13분 정도만 구워주시면 됩니다. All right, temperature okay. Once the sausage and pumpkin are cooked in the oven, place the mozzarella cheese on top so it can melt. 저희는 지금 소세지 위에 얹어 먹을 양파 마멀레이드를 만들고 있는데요. 리키와 제가 양파를 우선 체리 썰고 있습니다. That's right. We're cutting up these onions because we're going to make a nice creamy sauce, a soft sauce for what goes with our sausages and with our bacon. So. 자, 그 양파 마멀레이드에는 이 양파만 들어가는 것이 아니라 바로 아까 제가 처음에 파김치를 손질할 때 남겨놓은 파의 흰 부분을 넣을 건데요. 이렇게 파의 흰 부분을 같이 양파 마멀레이드에 넣게 되면 단맛을 더욱 증가시킬 수가 있으니까 그점 잊지 마세요. 자, 제일 먼저 달궈진 이 팬에다가 제가 버터를 이렇게 한 큰술 정도 넣고요. 여기에다가 양파를 넣고 선생님. 다듬어 놓은 흰파를 넣을 거예요. 네. 이거 뭐 양파 맞아요? 맵지 않은데 아, 색깔이 좋은데. 색깔이 좀 빨갛죠. 이렇게 음. 붉은 양파 같은 경우에는 샐러드에 바로 먹을 수 있게끔 맵지 않고 달큰한 맛이 더 강한 아, 붉은 양파를 사용하시면 더욱더 맛있겠죠? 자, 이렇게 리퀴 것까지 맞아서 아, 넣은 다음에 한 20분 동안 양파가 타지 않도록 뭉근한 불에서 열심히 저으면서 잘 익혀주시면 됩니다. 그렇죠. And when the onions are cooked, mix them with honey, thyme, minced garlic, vinegar, and raisins. Heat it over a light fire for about 10 minutes for it to cook. Once the marmalade is completed, let it cool in the fridge so it can be eaten cold. We'll now need to prepare the sauce. Mix an adequate amount of peanut butter, red pepper oil, soy sauce, sugar, vinegar, and water. Mix it all together using a handheld blender. Love your attitude. Oh yeah, love you better than my favorite tune. Oh yeah, don't you ever stop. Wow, that sauce looks amazing. Wow, you go to buy. Oh, the second one is all different. Yeah, so just that. Rikine, how many will you eat? I think maybe ten. Ah, ten? Okay, five. Hmm. 자 이렇게 해서 완성 접시에다가. 여기 있는 꼬치는 살짝 빼주셔야 이따 먹을 때 편리하겠죠? 네. 자, 이렇게 적당하게 담아주시고요. 자, 그 다음에 여기 위에다가 아까 냉장고에 시켜두었던 이 양파 마멀레이드를 이 위에다가 넣어주시면 됩니다. 그 소스는 어디 있어요? 아, 아, 이따가 소스볼에다가 예쁘게 담아서 아. 같이 세팅을 해보도록 할게요. 얼마 맥주. 맥주는 방송 끝. 따가 먹어요. c r a v i n The tender sausage and the soft pumpkin wrap with p a g i m c h i will definitely go well with beer. The spicy flavor of p a g i m c h i and the sweet taste of the onion marmalade will also make for a perfect harmony. 파김치가 됐다라는 거는 음, 몸이 피곤하다는 뜻도 있지만 사실 파에는 우리 몸에 좋은 칼슘, 뭐 비타민, 칼, 뭐 철분 뭐 이런 성분들이 굉장히 많이 들어 있어서 우리 몸에 굉장히 도움이 많이 되는 야채거든요. 그러니까 근데 우리 몸에 파김치 됐으니까 음. 파김치 먹읍시다. 음 
뭐 그럴까요? 근데 한 가지만 더 알려드릴게요. 오케이. 네. 한국인들은 뭐 신혼부부에게 검은 머리가 파프리가 될 때까지 잘 살라는 축복의 음. 의미로 이 팔을 이용을 하기도 하는데요. 그 이유는 팔 뿌리가 하얘서 뭐 그런 뜻으로 이용하기도 하죠. 굉장히 어, 좋은 것 같아요. 굉장히 기쁜 뜻이 있어요. 네. Okay, can we eat now? Okay. All right. 네. Let's see. It. 음. 어때요? The peanut butter taste is really strong here. 음. With the marmalade on top and the bacon and the sausage. 너무 맛있어요. 맛있어요? 음. 자그 소세지만 먹지 말고 여기 있는 야채 단호박도 좀 먹어봐요. 하고 있어. 하고 있고. 네. 음. 근데 맥주는 어때요? When traveling around Japan and Korea, you'll notice there's a lot of similarities, but you'll also notice there's some distinct differences, like one of them. Well, the way they eat rice. Rice is one of the base meals in both of the countries, similarity, but the difference, the way they eat it. Koreans, spoon, bowl on the table, just like this. But there's Japanese. They hold the bowl in the hand and they use the chopsticks and they eat like that. It's kind of one of the differences that uh, makes them stand apart. And sometimes can be a misunderstanding when you don't know about the Koreans and the Japanese, but it makes it interesting. The dining etiquette. Here at Food Delicious, we want to show you different dining etiquettes and different kind of cultural backgrounds of food. Food Delicious is our place where we can discover these together. Keep watching.